What we had here tonight were concerned residents here in the Riverside area to come and speak about the um, increasing gun violence that they have, the least less gun violence incident that they have experienced, and um, what could they do to come together to address it? You know, they're concerned parents, they're concerned residents, they love their neighborhood, and they are just ready to ready for action. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Um, basically, I learned a lot that you know some people still don't see the police officers that are supposed to be out on foot uh, engaging with the community. And I also heard offline that there are some officers. I mean, I was given specific names, but we have to grow on that. You know, we have to make sure that they're doing the direction of the police department. Some of the people who are in the community don't feel as though they can go anywhere past Riverside. That they're, they're, they, they feel kind of left out, they're looking for jobs, and because they can't find jobs or make the money, that, that's what they resort to. So it, it's a lot, you know, it's a holistic approach that we have to deal with everything from the police perspective, from the community, and faith-based groups, even to job employment. So it, it was interesting and I did learn a lot. I think the community needs to really demand of all the influences of and powers of the elected officials that can help to get involved and help them to address these problems. It's easy to say, you know, just pick up the phone, call 911 or whatever, and people want to do that, but without things being organized, there's certain retaliation, somebody figured they know where the call came from, and you put your family in jeopardy, you see. So if the elected officials, other than just one or two, would get involved, pull their resources, and really work it out. You know what uh, Karen Spillman is saying in there as we just left about uh, giving a unit to the police and all that. We used to have two units over here years ago where the police used as a mini, a mini police station, mini headquarters. And uh, a couple of the police even lived over here. You see, so you got to go back to doing some of those things and do it with a very reasonable rent or no rent at all for some of them that will come over here and stay and they see the police cars, they know they're in the area and all that. It does help to deter crime. Um, my takeaway was one from the uh, residents, the emphasis on a strong resident council, the emphasis on being involved with the uh, new Riverside uh, project, two, um, more police engagement by way of community invo uh, being involved with the community, not necessarily um, force, not necessarily antagonistic uh, methods, but just uh, getting out the cars and doing what they can do. The other piece was um, a lot of the um, residents, uh, we heard a reoccurring um, theme, which was um, our young people need opportunities. We, they need jobs, but they need opportunities. And what a, a, a perfect um, um, intro, intro to access through this Riverside project from demolition to the resident council being empowered to get businesses and to be trained, to have our young men and women trained so that they can sustain themselves. And the hope is built upon there's light at the end of that tunnel. Now, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. This was the beginning of a real uh, needed discussion on gun violence, not just here in Riverside, throughout the area. So maybe we could start something going once a month over here and move in different communities. Even though they said the gun violence is down in Wilmington, but one shooting is just too much. And I'm just fed up with it. And we just need to take back our community.